Alright guys, welcome back. So, look what I picked up. It's a 2000 Kawasaki STX 900. Uh, it's got good compression. It's a little beat up. Um, you know, stuff like this. Gonna get new seats, this thing for it. Got a new hood. Didn't have this reverse lever on there. Um, that actually didn't even move. And, um... All I had to do is just loosen this up. That's the reverse. So when it goes down, it pushes water back that way. But it's, you know, it's pretty dirty. Um, just really just needs a little loving. It's got the same hull as my 98 1100 STX. And um, I figured this would be a good one for the missus. It's a three-seater as well, just as... Uh, the one seat instead of two does not have the front storage compartment um, as you can see it's kind of dirty I don't know if they drove it without without this front storage compartment and it just took on water or something um, there are a few things that I noticed I mean they checked the compression on a for me before I even came and looked at it because it was in a different state. Very hard to find these. But uh, it's got the Kawasaki 900 obviously. But if you look in here, <coughs> excuse me, there is a bunch of floating crap in here. And when I got it, that bottom section down there had water in there and uh, a little bit of oil. It turns over and it's great when it turns over. I cleaned the electrical box up because it was just destroyed. And so all three coils were dead. Um, the starter relay, which is that gold thing down there, that thing was just kaput. It was just rusted on the outside. It was corroded on the one end, pieces broken off. And this, all three of these ports right here, the little plastic ports that have a, an o-ring on them and you, when you screw them in it seals the yellow port to the electrical box I'm oh, sorry to the electrical box and then you push whatever wires through them and then you have a cap on the wire that's got a rubber grommet in it and then you screw that on and it makes a watertight seal so two of those are broken got those uh, I was missing a couple of the pieces from the starter relay uh, plastic water sealing pieces um, it had both of the rubber grommets though so that's good um, I just went through and cleaned everything up and I got the new starter relay it does turn over using the switch it just doesn't have spark so I started looking at things I tested the stator stator seems like it's it's testing out completely fine and so is the pickup the spark pickup coil well one of these pins broke off and so I tried to I ended up sod I dug the contact out for that pin and I just removed all the plastic cleaned it up and then soldered a wire to it and tried to because when I plugged it back in and I tried to make a contact for it, it and the, this red wire that plugs into the back is this is the 12 volt supplied to the CDI box or igniter box there and what happened was is I was messing around with the plug and that wire came out and there's also uh, another spot next to it that doesn't have it's got a wire missing out of it so I got a local guy that's got a plug I'm gonna get that and then I ended up picking up another CDI box today so um, I get I'll get that plug tomorrow and then uh, get it all back together I think what I'm gonna do now is pull this engine out of here and clean off, I'm gonna clean the whole bay out. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm gonna clean the whole bay out and get it all nice and debris free <laughs> and clean. And then I'm gonna degrease the engine and get that all cleaned up. And then I'm gonna pull this cover off here. If it was sunk, the guy told me that it just sat outside. And this rear storage compartment compartment wasn't on there. Neither was the 
the seal for it. So, I, I mean, it's got junk all over it. I don't know if it really did just sit. And, you know, all this in here is just debris from, you know, someone cutting lawn by it and blowing all the the leaves and lawn over by it. It just snuck up in there over time and ended up getting rained on. I mean, who knows? Because, I mean, this wasn't in here either. And that should seal with this. But, I mean, you never know. So, uh, I did go through the safety switch up here because that's usually a common spot for it to go bad or a common spot to be uh, trouble. It will get corrosion in there or whatever. But I took it apart and everything's fine. I even cleaned it all up and put it all back together. I checked. I'm not exactly sure what this is right here. It's definitely a switch of some sort. I would assume it's probably some type of and it's got two contacts so I would assume it's probably some type of thermal detection unit of some sort and it just detects like engine compartment temperature or something and then there's also the the thermostat for the water this one right here that's another one that goes that will go bad on these so I unplugged that and it didn't have any effect I unplugged the other one it didn't have any effect and I'm just going off of an older 95 ZXI that I troubleshot and uh, just trying little things here and there but the The fuel switch works. Um, this has a crack in it right here. So I don't know if the switch is corroded. I do have the lanyard key for it. And when I put the lanyard key in and I turn it on, the gauges don't work. So I don't know if maybe it's corrosion. I don't know why the electric start would work, but not the spark and gauges. So I'm, that's another spot I'm gonna go, I'm gonna look at. But she's a little rough. She needs a little loving though. Like I said, I got some stuff that I'm going to do to it. Uh, looks like this is actually just spray paint. I mean, look at that. So I'm going to peel these numbers off and then take some, some goo gone to the adhesive. And then I'm going to polish all this because what happened was is they said that a tree branch potentially fell on it, hit it here and here, and then they just hit it with this faded spray paint like doofuses. So, I mean, it is repairable, but I found one for 75 bucks that looks great. And it's got a little crack right here in it. But the rest of it's good. I don't have to worry about trying to get the paint off of this stuff. And, I mean, I don't know, maybe that was the right color to begin with, and it just faded. So yeah, that's the next project here. Um, I do have a couple other things I'm going to be posting soon, so yeah, just make sure you guys stay tuned for that stuff. Like I said, if you're not subscribed, subscribe, comment, like, share with your friends on social media that you think would get a kick out of this kind of stuff. So. I will be back. That's it for now. And I will uh, post um, updates and progress on this as well as other things soon. So stay tuned. All right. Thanks a lot, guys. Take care and God bless. Come on back.